Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PQ. So in this video, we solve question 8 of IST 2023 Computer Science Theory Paper. And before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So I have question 8 of IST 2023 Computer Science Theory Paper and give this a reading. And again, I always say whenever you are solving IST Computer Science Board Question Papers, the most important thing is to read them completely, to read them carefully from the first letter to the last letter. So you have to basically sort words of a sentence in this given question. But for me, the wording of this question is not framed very clearly. So there are a few things which are not very clear to me. The first thing is where do I find n? So accept sent will accept a sentence in uppercase that I will store in sent. But do I calculate n here in accept sentence or do I calculate n in sort? And also when you are displaying output, there is no n in the output. So why n then? But this n is there as a part of this question and you have to take into account this n. Okay, and, you, and we have to use it somewhere. The next question that I have doubt about is they say sort the words of the sentence of the object p when you have this method sort, sort alpha p in alphabetical order and stores the sorted sentence in current object. And then you have to call sort from this display method. So maybe they are trying to check if you understand the concept of this. But this question is really not framed very clearly for me. And then you have to write a main as well to create an object and call the functions accordingly to enable the task. Within all this, I will write this program correctly. Okay, I will get the required output for the required input and I will follow all the requirements of this question exactly to the letter. But if I was to solve this question in the exam, I would probably skip this and solve the other two. Or maybe it is that they're just trying to check your concepts because this involves sorting, right? Sorting is not very tough. Okay, anyways, let's begin. So I'm going to write the class sort alpha first and then I'm going to write the main. So I'm going to write the class sort alpha first. So class sort alpha. Okay. Then we have the data members sent an int n string sent int n. Since they are data members, I'm going to make them private. Okay. The next part is the constructor. Default constructor does not take any parameters to initialize data members with legal initial value. So name of the constructor is the same as the name of the class does not take any parameters legal initial value is that they should be initialized to some legal initial value okay so you can set send to blank and end to zero okay and when they say legal initial value you can assign it to any possible integer because any possible integer will be legal and in this case any string any string would be legal here but conventionally we make a string a blank and we make an integer zero Okay, and I make this public because this is a constructor. Okay, then we write accept send to accept a sentence in uppercase. Okay, public void accept send. Okay, making sure the name of the function is exactly the same. Right now it says to accept a sentence in uppercase. All right, so I will use a scanner object. You can use a scanner or a data input stream. So I'm going to say import java.util.scanner. Okay. I'll say scanner, scanner, go to new, scanner, system dot in. Okay. Then I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln. Enter a sentence. Okay. So this prompt is not mandatory because it is not a part of this requir requirement. Okay. You just have to accept a sentence. Asking for a prompt is not mandatory. I'm doing this so that when I run the program, I get a prompt message. Okay. Then you say sent this variable in which you accept the sentence scanner dot next line. Okay. And then you close the scanner. Okay. So closing the scanner again is not mandatory for you people, but it is a practice for me and I always do it. And so I'm writing this scanner dot close. Okay. Now the next thing I'm not very sure that you should be calculating n here. Okay. Because it does not say in the requirement that you have to calculate n in this accept sentence method. Okay, so I'm going to calculate n when I sort. Okay, but I'm going to use n. All right, so my accept sent is done. I move on to the next method void sort. So I say public void sort sort alpha p, making sure the method signature is same as I mentioned. Okay, and I'm keeping the argument name p the same as well. Okay, 
Now this sorts the words of the sentence of the object P in alphabetical order and stores the sorted sentence in current object. Okay. So the sentence you are supposed to sort is from P. Okay, you are supposed to sort this sentence. And you have to store this sorted sentence in this sent. So after the words of sent P are sorted, store them in sent. So when we are then sorting the words of the sentence, we store them in this variable sent. Okay, and then we update and as well. Okay, so in order to sort the words of this sentence, I will have to extract the words, sort the words, and then create a sentence with the sorted words. And I've already uploaded videos where I show you how to sort words of a sentence, how to count the number of words in the sentence. I will add the link of those videos in the description. All right. The first thing I need to do here is count the number of words in sent P. Okay. All right. And the idea here is if you look at the question, right, the number of words in this sentence is equal to number of white spaces plus one. The sky is blue has three white spaces. Number of words is three plus one four. And we can assume this provided two words are separated by only one single space and there are no leading and trailing white spaces. Okay. And this is usually the format of string input that is given by ISC board papers, right? So I'm going to stick with it. All right. So I store the length of the sent P in a separate variable L dot L E N G T H. Okay. Because I will be using this sent P dot length again and again. So to count the number of words, I find the number of white spaces and then the number of words are going to be number of white spaces plus one. Okay. So I say in num spaces is zero. I do for int i equal to zero, i is less than l, i plus plus. Okay. Now if this ith character which is sent p dot care at i is a white space. Okay. There is one more assumption here that the white space is a single space. Okay. A white space could be a tab. A backslash n but in this case we assume two words are separated by a single space and again that has been the format for all the previous years questions okay so taking that assumption right if this is the case i do num spaces plus plus and then finally in num words is num spaces plus one okay so i am able to count the number of words in sentence of this object p then i create an array to store the words Okay, I say string words equal to new string num words. Okay, I have to extract words from this sent p and store them in this array so that I can sort the words. Okay, extract words from the sent p. Okay, so I say int i equal to zero. Again, I have written a separate solution how to extract words from a sentence. Okay, I will add the link of the video in the description. All right. So I will need an iterator to go from left to right. Okay. I will need an index to store it in the array and I will need a word to store the current word. Okay. I say while i is less than l, I iterate the string from left to right. I say if sent p dot caret of this ith index is a space, then I am at the end of a word. So I say words of index equal to this current word i blank out the word move to the next index all right else i add the current character to this word okay and in both cases i increment i and when i'm done with the loop i have added all words but the final word so i add the last word again the detailed explanation of this is in a separate video because if I explain everything here, this is going to be very long. Okay. So I have kept the explanation of this process in a separate video. You can check that video out. Okay. So when I add the last word, I do this. Okay. So I have now added words, extracted words from this sent P into this array words. Then I sort this array. I use bubble sort. I list then n which is number of words which is num words okay and i've already used i so i'm not going to declare it again okay i say i plus plus for int j equal to zero j is less than num words minus one j plus plus okay if words of j dot compare to 
words of j plus 1 is greater than 0 okay because you have to sort in alphabetical order okay i swear temp is words of j words of j is words of j plus 1 words of j plus 1 is temp. okay now we have sorted the words of sentence p in this array words and then we set the word of sentence p into this variable sent okay and here i use n is num words okay because the number of words in this sent p remain the same okay they're just sorted which is num words here so i set n which stores the number of words for this sentence here okay all right so i say for i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and before that i have to set sent to blank i say sent plus equal to words of i plus a space okay and now my sort method is done so i'm done with this sort method and you can see it is pretty lengthy okay compared to the previous two questions i sort of this section okay for the same paper this is pretty lengthier you would always want to choose questions which are shorter and that you can complete them easily okay so moving on to the last method which is display so i'm gonna say public because this is a member method void display okay does not take any argument it says displays the original sentence so i say system dot out dot print ln okay original sentence okay original sentence along with the sorted sentence by invoking the method sort now you have to call this method sort so that the sentence in this object is sorted so the only way I see this is sort this and then you print the sorted sentence okay obviously you have to add the sentence sorry plus sent okay the last part is calling the main function to create an object so I say sort alpha sort alpha equal to new sort alpha calling the default constructor calling accept sent and then calling display and my code is done okay and this is the code for this question and that's why i write it on vs code okay and not on any ide like eclipse or intellij because i want to write it from memory right and i don't want to make any mistakes when i write it okay all right let me see if this is correct so let us run this now so i said java c isc 2023 computer science question 8 yep Yep, all good. Java ISC 2023 computer science question 8. Enter a sentence. The sky is blue. Original sentence is the sky is blue. The sorted sentence is close this sorted sentence is blue is the sky. Blue is the sky. Okay. All right. Let me run this again. My name is Bal Krishna. So B I M N S. Okay. Can I say welcome to code with BK? Okay. So this was the solution to this problem, and I hope this was helpful. And there are a lot of assumptions that I took in this question. Okay. And if you are also solving this question, I will ask you to make the same assumptions, right? Because you have to follow the requirements, and you have to get the right output for the given. Input. Okay. But do check out the links of the videos in the description because they explain in detail how this problem is actually solved. Okay. How to extract words in a sentence and how to count the words in a sentence. Okay. So this was the solution to this problem and I hope this was helpful. You like this video. So if you like this, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel, like my video and share my channel and share my video. And if there was something that you did not like about this video, please just don't press the dislike button. Please also let me know in the comments what was wrong with this video so that I can improve in my further videos. And you can always let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss. Thank you.